no camping this weekend. Um, I'd love to be saying that we're heading out somewhere into the bush or heading out to the sandy beaches of Morton Island, but no, nope, stuck at home this weekend. So I'm going to do some work on the, the old patrol that I've been putting off for a month or two, something like that at the moment. Just some basics. I'm taking a bit of a gamble on this video actually because I'm no mechanic. It's not going to be informative. It's just simply some stuff I need to do and thought I might share it with you. See how we go. Anyway, welcome to Woodger Camp with it. But uh, this weekend we're not camping with it. So um, I'm calling this preventative maintenance. Main things I'm actually doing this weekend is replacing all the, the coolant hoses and I'm also just going to chuck a thermostat in there. These, uh, the old TD42s are known to get a little bit hot. I don't have any particular issues with this one, aside from the occasional high EGT numbers on a, on a big hill on the highway. Uh, but the old, the old Wuhan war whistle doesn't help. So I figured I've never replaced these hoses personally, um, so I'd like to know when they were last done. And then um, these ones aren't too bad, despite looking a bit ugly. So at least I've got some um, spares I can chuck in the kit. We'll get into it in a second. Someone's probably gonna ask why I'm not replacing the um, water pump uh, while I'm at it, which would probably be a smart thing to do, but to be honest, I'm lazy and a tight ass, and I just really don't wanna do it. Get some fresh hoses on there, and um, the thermostat was as far extra as I really wanted to go. Got some freshies here. Uh, bought um, just all Gates hoses. Got all them through Patrol Apart. They're pretty awesome. Anyone that owns a Patrol probably has ordered through them before. Got some fresh coolant, demineralized water, which uh, I don't know, I'm a normally bottle with, but I um, thought I'd do it right this time. And try and do a radiator flush while I'm at it. Fresh thermostat. Yeah, let's go. Uh, first thing, got to drop the coolant. Ugh, Jesus Christ. If anyone knows where there is a drain plug for coolant on a GQ TD42 uh, on the radiator, that'd be very helpful to know. Um, Chris, I'm probably gonna end up undoing the bottom hose here and let it spill everywhere and be a giant pain in the ass. I'm pretty sure there's one on the block somewhere. I have a feeling my turbo might be plumbed into it. Maybe, I'm not too sure. Uh, but yeah, the radiator hose has to come off eventually. Uh, so I figured might as well just do it that way. So just gonna get this bottom radiator hose. I figured I'll let you watch me do that. I need some WD-40 on that, I think. That'll do him. There we go, where are ya? Should've bought some replacement hose clamps. Well, I was naively thinking I could uh, reuse the old factory hose clamps. Not case. Should've bought some more replacement ones, so I'm gonna go do that now, just so I'm set up for the, the rest of the job. Uh, but unfortunately, the head snapped off that pretty much immediately. It's just all rusty and everything. Uh, nothing, a pair of tin snips and a little pry bar couldn't help. So, off to super cheap we go. Austin's not so sure on my uh, mechanical abilities. On to the farm bike we go. That's what we need. How many people end up here halfway through a, a job? Not a lot. Clamps acquired. Any more super cheap stops, and uh, this might end up a tomorrow job. Been just about an hour, and all I've done is broken a hose clamp. Coolant's dropped. Time now to uh, zip that back up and uh, chuck some radiator flush in it. So that's filled up. Instructions say, got to start this and um, run it for 15 minutes. So we'll do that. I'll uh, set a timer in just a second. Ooh, should have let the glow plugs warm up a little bit more on that one. But anyway, uh, got it started. Battery's a little bit low on, on that thing. I don't know why. I think uh, I got some sort of slow leak. So another thing to sort out. Time started, another 14 minutes or so of that idling, and then that'll um, clean it out, and I'm gonna drop that, and then place the thermostat, and uh, put new coolant in, and good to go, basically. Good time for a uh, little refreshment break while we're at it. Right, car's been warmed up, it's pretty warm. I'm gonna drop the coolant now, I'm meant to wait, but I'm on a bit of a tight time frame today, and filming is adding a little bit to that, so I kinda just need to get this done. Gotta, yeah, drop that. Uh, replace the hoses 
I'm going to put a new thermostat in and clean all that up and everything, and I'll probably just give you a bit of a time lapse of that all happening. Hopefully, uh, next time you hear me talking, we're uh, ready to go. I We're learning as we go. I've just undid the turbo. Cooling fitting, which is uh, goes to the um, uh, drain at the back of the block. That's letting out the rest of the water. Probably should have done that before doing the radiator flush, but oh, we're here now. At least we're going new hoses, new thermostat. On the last legs here, just getting everything squared away. Four hoses are done. I'm just uh, just filling up some coolant, just filling up that with uh, distilled water. I'm going to try and um, top it up with a bit more coolant later. I put about five litres in already. So new hoses are all in there, thermostats in, cleaned up housing, and uh, new hose clamps. So fill the coolant up, get it running, get it to temp, and just make sure it's all bleeds properly and hopefully hopefully no changes would be the best thing because it's been running great now i just want that uh that confidence in the setup so the more things that you've replaced recently the better it's going to be my boy's been helping me this whole time there he goes all right quick little thing i wanted to add in here this is after the fact the car's done and i've been driving it for a few days i actually bought the factory td42 non-turbo thermostat which is 82 degrees um this is actually what came out of it so 76 and a half so i've actually promptly ordered one of those and a new gasket and i'm just going to whack that back in i think that's going to be a much better job so if you're doing this particularly for a gq turbo diesel td42 just if you can work out what thermostat you have great and replace that or do your research just to add to that quickly as well i'm not actually experiencing any issues with the 82 degree one it runs a little bit hotter uh, but to be honest i just want what i had in there which was running perfect so i'm just doing that just to be safe all wrapped up here basically spent the last 20 or so minutes heating it up and uh, letting the coolant flow through the system it's got a new thermostat in there as i've mentioned several times so that's all filled up pretty much as much as i can and probably the thing i'll do tomorrow is just take it for a like decent drive and just make sure it doesn't need any further topping up anyway it was a bit fun didn't promise anything for it to be uh, an exciting video but if you found it interesting let me know because i don't mind doing a couple of different videos like this just kind of day-to-day -day stuff to do with what actually gets me camping so yeah let me know if you hated it let me know too if you want to just see bloody the things that i'm doing while i'm out camping then that's fine as well all right Uru.